In this video, we're going to be covering another SQL question. This is lead code question number 1623. Uh, all valid triplets that can represent a country. So we have school A, school B and school C. We have a student ID with a student name in school A. We have a student ID, student name in school B. And we have a student ID and school, student name in school C. So all of them has the student ID as the primary key. So each row of this table contains the name and the ID of the student in school C. All student name are distinct. Okay. There is a country with three schools where each student is enrolled in exactly one school. The country is joining a competition and wants to select one student from each school to represent the country uh, such that that member underscore A is selected from school A, member underscore B is selected from school B, member underscore C is going to be selected from school C. And the selected student names and IDs are pairwise distinct. There is no two students share the same name and two students uh, share the same ID. We need to re, uh, write a SQL query to find all possible triplets representing the country uh, under the given constraints. So if we have these two, Alice and Bob with these IDs in school A, Tom in school B, and these three in school C, these are the only two valid combinations uh, because none of them has the same name. So if we look at this triplet, this entry does not have any student which has the same name or the st same ID and this combination is not gonna have the same name or the same ID. There are other ones like this, 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 this. They are all rejected. Okay, uh, basically you can think of it as a superset uh, that's the kind of joining we're going to be doing. We are selecting one student uh, from uh, school A, one student from school B, one school in school uh, student from school C. This is kind of a superset. Every combination is going to be made. But then we are putting constraints here as we have been told that A dot student name should not be equal to uh, B dot student name and again they should not be equal to C dot student name, right? And also like A shouldn't be equal to B, uh, shouldn't be equal to C. Again, B is not equal to student name. We're going to copy the same constraints for the IDs. The ID of any student, of that student we are looking at, uh, shouldn't be equal to the student in B. And uh, a shouldn't A's ID shouldn't be equal to C's ID and A's and B's ID shouldn't be equal to C ID. That's all I wanted to cover in this uh, video. Thanks for watching.